Hello, everybody. Hi. It's the Jim and Dave Beer, Beer Review. Review. Jim, what yes. do we have on tap for today? My friend Dave, we have Founders Brewery. We've Brilliant. done Founders before. We loved it a lot. Wow. And this is going to be a very special one. This is called, and I need to do this myself, <clears throat> Dark Penance. Well, are you going to take your dark peasant, peasants, peasants? Not presents. 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 Penance. It's penance? like... It's not you're, like Donald Trump, like you're the Trump. Catholic. You should know what penance I is. I have no idea what Catholic means anymore. Oh. It means you stand up, sit down, kneel when you go to church. <laughs> stand up, sit down, kneel. Stand up, oh, sit please, down, please, kneel. Oh, please, please, please. We want to have fans <laughs> in the Bible Belt. Don't go into it. Um, <laughs> oh, we don't have fans as it is. Who gives a crap? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello. Now, as we jo please join us on the highway to hell now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. I hope you are too. This, Dave, is. A Indian Pale Ale, yeah. but this, I'm very excited about this beer yeah. because it's a category I don't believe we've done before in that it is an Imperial Black IPA. Usually, Imperials mean that it's double, double the alcohol, alcohol content. content. And Black usually pertains to stouts or porters, not right. ales. So I think, I wonder to myself, well, what makes it Black? Why is it Black? Why is it Imperial? Okay, we understand some good crap breweries do double it up. And you know what? God bless them. I love the variety, and we're digging a lot of Imperials lately. So I'll uh, go to the founder's website here. Yes. I'm turning him to the dark side, okay. Well, I must say, when I went to college, and I had a friend named Rob, an uh, Asian guy, but totally American, of descent. Sorry. Well, you got to be American. You can be uh, whatever you want. Well, I just want people to have a picture. Whatever. Nice guy. I miss him, by the sure. way. Rob, if you recognize me on all these things, give me a comment. I miss you, buddy. Is your friend Gary still around? Ah, uh, Lord knows. Okay. We'll get back to him later. But okay. we would go across the street from the Art Institute of I Philadelphia because there was a place over there before they built the One Liberty the Tower. Yeah, okay. No, no, not the booby bar. We went to the booby bar, though. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, it's the same. Stand on top. Shut it up. Shut it up. I would go across the street. There'd be a place to serve beer. I was uh, 21. Yeah, sure. And he would have a um, your favorite beer. My favorite beer, my, my Guinness? He would have a Guinness Stout. And I would look at that and I think he was crazy because it's just like, that's not, it doesn't look like a beer. That looks like syrup. I don't want to ever try that. Of course, oh, I, I've God. since learned my lesson that some of these beers are pretty good. Turn them on. And so now, um, Pushing it. but this, I like IPAs and this one's dark. So I'm very intrigued. Yeah, I like IPAs. Dark Penance. Okay. A heavy malt foundation includes crystal malt for sweetness and just enough midnight wheat malt to push the color to black. Aha. So it's a midnight wheat that's doing this. It's a wheat beer of some type. Where does midnight wheat come from? Well, I think it's from Midnight Wheat, Kansas, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. I don't that's know. The place? No, I just made that up. Is that by the group? Yeah. Kansas? Carry on my way, what's up? Yeah. My God, Sony's ears just perked up. Sorry, cat. I was in a range there that disturbs animals. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Actually, disturb me too. Yes. All right, now the bitterness is huge. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wow, bitterness again. But it's balanced by malt sweetness. Maybe I'll like and it better. Alcohol burn. See, it says right there alcohol burn. Burn. Now, the hop flavors and aromas range from citrus to floral. To pine. Now, th and that's thanks to a delicate blend of uh, hand selected Chinook and Centennial hops. Yeah, we've liked Chinook and Centennial hops in the past, right? Yeah. Now, the alcohol by volume, 8.9%. It's up there, people. Nice up there. Yeah. IBUs, 100. Ooh. I don't know too much. This will be a good uh, that's test. That's not as much as 140. But right. It's better than. Yeah, and it's not as much as 130. And it's better than. It's not as good as 100. Negative 100. Absolutely. Now, what's on the label here, Dave? Why don't you tell everybody? This is a cool looking label. This is like uh, dark, black, uh, blue, and blue and black and white. white. And looks like an old lady. Yeah, maybe. That's weird. Why would the old lady become pens? You think they learned the lesson by the time they got to that age? Well, let's move along, my friend. Let's... Oh, did you hear that, people? What? That old ladies should learn it by now? And that women should learn their place. I didn't say that. Yes, he did. That's what he meant. Uh, don't put words in my mouth. I put words in your mouth. Should we do this? Oh, I'm going to do this this way. Oh, what you, what, you think that's a torpedo? Yes, torpedo. Look at that. All. All oh, right. Shouldn't have done like that, but I got to wait. So let's talk some. Okay. <laughs> Time-lapse photography. What do you want to talk about? 
<laughs> well, how about them Phillies? <laughs> oh, they weren't doing too good this year. <laughs> how about them Eagles? They're, they're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about that Michael Vick? That ass. Uh, I'm ready to drink. If you guys like sports, uh, talk to Dave. Don't yes, talk to man. me. Let's get a sniff. I can sniff it for a while, right? Yeah, play sniff as... Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Hey. Now, finally, I think this is the first beer we've had in this series that uh, it's been like, hey, now. There's a good scent. Fruity. Yep, I'm definitely getting some citrus, a little pine, all the things that we just read I about. Smell blueberry. Bonk. Bonk. Blueberry. What you talking about, Willis? Blueberry. Really? Like the cereal. Eh, there's a hint of sweetness there, but I think it's more of a citrusy kind of sweetness. But isn't berry, citrus, correlate the same thing? It's berry. No, citrus is very specific to the orange, lemon, lime, tangerine family. Okay, well, I smell blueberry. Okay. <laughs> now the color. Let's get into the color. Now this is a uh, sort of a tannish, creamish now color. I can see it now. And this, much like a stout, it's not a stout. It's not a stout. It should be a stout. Black as black can be. I am seeing a little bit of light on the bottom. It does have. I a see kind no, of... no, no use on it. No, and I figured up the light doesn't bring no light. Sometimes it brings like a like a brownish hue or there, reddish hue. There is a little reddish hue on the bottom. If you, if you look hue. down through the bottom that of the glass. That could be the light of coming off the bottom of the glass. Yeah. So it does have a little bit of reddish, but not too bad. That's the bottom of the glass. Is it? Well, yeah. it's got to be the beer because it's got color to it. It's the bottom of the glass. It's, it, 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 no, it's, there's no redness to it at well, all. Well, something that's also interesting that we don't, I don't think we've ever brought up before, but some of the bubbles on the top are very big. Sometimes I've noticed foam is very even. That's interesting, Jim. I never thought about the bubbles on top before like that. Yeah, well, I just I just looked down and I just thought there's some really giant bubbles in this. Now, why is that? Could it be the type of carbonation? Could it be the overall chemical composition of the beer? Could it be the way we, way we poured it? I, well, I don't know, no. but I just try to share, you know, various notes. <clears throat> yeah, the more the more information we can give you, the better for you. The better for us. The better for the beer. I review. wish I was one of those people that had one of those factory noses that could taste every single little thing and every little thing. Every little thing. Because oh. some people can can smell. I mean, you go to those wine tastings and people are going to be like, I smell a little bit of, of this and a little bit of that. I would love to be able to do that. Now, I'm probably smoking for 27 years before I quit almost six years ago, ruined all that. Well, we're going to get it back, buddy. Well, it's slowly I can smell a whole lot better than I could back before when I was smoking. Well, nose is like any other sense. The more you use it, the more you get better at it. So try to use your nose very often. I have often. a big nose. I go around sniffing like a bloodhound. I'll be just walking down the street, I'll be gone. I'm going to taste it now. You ready? Don't... Amen. B-O. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready. I can, I can Cheers, my friends. Yeah. And you, my friends. Wait, I gotta go out and get my motorbike. Mmm. Mmm. That's a beer with some character right there, man. I'll check your messages while we're doing the interview. How dare you? Dave, I gotta say, I am pleasantly surprised by this. What? Imperial Black IPA. This is the first... Is this the first black IPA we've ever had? No. Oh. I was going to say it was. Night of Living Stout. Was that? Night of Living Stout was not an IPA. It was a stout. It was a porter. It was a stout, but it tasted like an ale. Right. Ah, but it was in a stout. They said so they this were a is, stout. So this is an ale that tastes like a stout. And we had a stout yeah. before it tastes like an ale. Right. That's the same thing then. Oh. <clears throat> Okay. It is. It's the same All right. thing. Night of Living Dead. It was a stout that smelled and tasted like an IPA. This is an IPA. That smells and tastes like a stout. Well, it does. To doesn't me. taste like a stout. Hold on. It, the, the bitterness is up there. It's better. You know what it kind of tastes like? Not as bad as. I don't know if I agree. Last with week's uh, beer we had with the licorice taste in it. Mmm. I like this beer. I think I would buy this beer. If I could afford it, I can imagine this is expensive. It's like it's like twelve dollars for a four pack. Okay, that's a lot of money, people. So a case would probably be let's see, 12, 50, uh, 50 40, bucks. 60. So usually, let's say I could buy a bottle for four dollars. 
but I could buy a four pack for twelve dollars. So if you figure that kind of increment, you probably have to pay like fifty-two dollars for a case. That's pretty good math, Dave. Eh? Ready to go? How about that? Hey, all right, that I'm, I'm coming a, back I'm a there. Smart smeller. I mean, a smart feller. Yeah, well, I can't be both. <laughs> I am both some back. <laughs> Don't do that here. You're welcome. Anyway, um, I got to say I am pleasantly surprised by this beer. Um, I mean, what an interesting uh, beer. Uh, I thank God I didn't buy one of these before I came over here. So I was like, ooh, look, Founders Dark Penance. It looked like a really cool label, and it's by Founders, and their, their breakfast style is awesome. But the breakfast style is better than this. Well, uh, that's because you're a stout guy. As a guy that likes his uh, Indian Pale Ales, you do get the alcohol kick from this. I love my And, of course, beer. most things that are Imperial, because they're double alcohol content, usually cost twice as much. And I assume that's because the materials to make it probably takes twice as much to brew and get the extra alcohol. I say that with never having brewed anything in my life except for with the beer machine. Grand Rapids, Michigan, this is bottled in. Right. All right, Dave, let's do a number. We're running out of time. Oh, we got three whole, four whole minutes now. I'm going to talk really slow. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. I give this a seven. Wow, a seven from Dave on an IPA. That's average. Pretty good. I, I, I would give it more, but it's got really a high bitterness. It's way better than the last beer we had. Right. What was the IPA again? It was 100. 100. Wow, so that's the guy I told Anything you 100 or under, I guess I can drink okay. Anything 100 or over, I might like Well, you know, I oh. believe you used to say 50 and over you didn't like. I don't like it as much, but if it's a dark beer, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of preferential or something. Well, you just don't like bitter, that's all. That's I don't right. like bitter. Yeah. Not a bitter guy. I like chocolatey type beers, you know, with a little mm. flavor, the roastiness. Uh, some roastiness. Some, some tobacco flavor in it, you know, since I can't smoke anymore. Um, well, talking about the flavor, um, you definitely get the sense that this is an IPA. It mm -hmm. has the classic IPA taste, the aftertaste, the uh, you know the citrusy notes, mm -hmm. the piney. It definitely has pine taste to it. Yeah, that resiny kind of feel resiny, to it. Resiny, yeah. Um, a, a, but yeah, it seems to go down relatively smooth. It is a bitter aftertaste on the back end, as you would doesn't, expect. It doesn't sit there for a long time after you taste right. it. Right. So. It, it's not overpowering, no. though. Um, I think this would go really well with anything you're doing out by a campfire. This, yeah. This is a fireside. Like, 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 like you put like the, 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 um, uh, the, the, the stones around, you make a little fire, right? And then you got this like big piece of metal that you put on top, and you put your steaks on top, you put your burgers and your dogs, you know? We, right. You have a good time, man, you know? Chicken, you know? Uh, that would, That's awesome. The grill, that's what I'm talking about, a little piece of metal, some mm. grill, you know? Like the old time when you go out into the, to, to the campground, you know? I think this beer has a lot of character. A um, little bit better for me. Uh, I would say overall, I'd probably have to give it maybe... It's going to give it more than me. Uh, 7.5 or 8. He gave it better than me! Well, I, bitterness doesn't bother me as, as much. I do like a good bitter beer. But anyway, uh, so there you have it. Jim and Dave's beer review for Dark Penance Imperial Black IPA. Very good job, guys. Founder, founders, um, we like a lot of your products. Good job. Now, please, comment below. And, Dave, do you think pregnant women should drink this? I don't think pregnant women should drink any kind of alcoholic beverages. If you want to think about your children living a normal life and healthy one, they could, could, they could have birth defects. Uh, right. You know, that's not good. On the next episode of Scared Straight. Yes. You know, it's another thing, okay? Do not operate heavy machinery with this. Right. If you've been drinking this... Do not <laughs> take a forklift out in the parking lot, go right through somebody's car and lift it up and throw it somewhere. Okay? That's no matter how thing. much you might want to do it. Yes. That's only something you see in Tom and Dad's are. There's that. Yes. And uh, children should not be watching this stuff at all. No. If you're under 21, you should not watch our stuff. Please don't drink beer. Once you turn 21, Once you you're can. 21, guys. It'll still be there for you when you Yes, you know, don't do what I did and think about, ooh, how great it would be to drink when you're 13. Okay? Okay? Because it's bad, okay? Thank you very much, people. Say bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. Say goodbye, Angry Bird. Uh, bye, Angry Bird. Why are you